I think today's celebration and commemoration of 1916 by Fianna Fáil was very effective. Not only was it instructive, but it was entertaining in many respects as well, because you heard um, what uh, the leaders believed in, how they expressed themselves, and of course it wasn't just a rabble as many would like to portray 1916 as, but instead it was um, uh, a rising that was led by intellectuals, was read, uh, led by poets, and that's why we had the opportunity of hearing some of the wonderful poetry that those leaders wrote. Um, I think also it's interesting that there'll be quite a lot of emphasis by Fianna Fáil on the culture uh, of uh, 1916 in terms of the rise of the Gaelic League at the early part of the 20th century and how that led to uh, a feeling of pride uh, in one's heritage and how that in turn influenced the politics of the day uh, right from 1913 when you have the lockout and 1916 with the, uh, the Irish uh, Citizen Army and James Connolly which brought in the whole area of uh, left-wing politics as well as the more conservative uh, uh, volunteers as, as would have been thought at the time. But it's interesting how all of these groups came together and they came together for one reason and that reason was for the people of Ireland and that's what we're here to celebrate. I think it was said on more than one occasion today that this wasn't just a question of a celebration for a political party but a celebration, commemoration and memory for people.